Greetings and welcome to Viking Plastics. I'm very excited to be able to talk with you today a little bit about our journey into lean manufacturing using the two second lean principle. We're a 40 plus year old injection molding and value added assembly services provider located in Cory, Pennsylvania. We have over 35 molding machines and we have several automated assembly cells. There are over a hundred of us here at Viking Plastics and we're growing together in our lean journey. We started our journey by reading the book Two Second Lean by Paul Akers. We then practice learning the eight forms of waste which we want to root out of our operation. We started daily drumbeat meetings where we share vital information. We practice seeing the eight forms of waste in our operation and rooting them out. We share videos and bring props and educate ourselves about how to improve. Our improvement process is pretty straightforward. We want to fix what bugs us. We want to take pride in our equipment. We want our processes to be better. We want to eliminate the waste in them. So you can see, even our fork trucks are better than they used to be. We want to review our old ways and eliminate the waste in them. We want to put visual factory in place. We want to know where things are located. We want to know the correct quantities. We never want to run out, but we don't want to have too much inventory either. And we're always working on that inventory waste. The way we just used to do it isn't good enough anymore. We go out and we tackle things together. We see things that bother us and we want to work to make them better. Some areas are completely changed, like in our warehouse, where after so many two second improvements it made sense to actually redo our racking system. Our cleaning stations are always maintained. We put very narrow aisle fork truck ways in and guided them with angle iron. We labeled our locations with barcodes, so there's basically a GPS coordinate for every location in our warehouse. We're identifying our products so that our new employees and even our tenured employees know what they are. We want to fix what bugs us. We want standardized, organized areas. We want to reduce what we throw out. We want to standardize on the work floor. We even put in place electronic scheduling, all courtesy of utilizing talent. We want things where we need them. We want our tools to be organized. We want them at hand. We want our cleaning supplies to be easy to reach. It's important that our operators and associates know the parts and know where to find them. We want our supplies to be organized. We want to be able to reorder things quickly. We want the labels in the drawers to match up with the parts that are in them. It's also important that our customers get 100% good quality products, so we started to implement pokey oaks into our processes. We increased our automation, reduce handling, reduce that wasted motion of people and resources. In our quality lab, we made improvements to our fixturing. We've been in the process of labeling and identifying things that in the past we always just had to hunt for them. And it just makes our lives so much easier. We started a class called Viking Academy and we're teaching our people about lean, improvements, and how we can make our culture even better. One of the important things we do is celebrate. And here we're celebrating our successes throughout the year and our improvements and 
It really is exciting to be a part of a team that's engaged. You know, the eighth form of waste, the employee talent not being utilized, not engaged, we really work on that every day here at Viking Plastics. We really are at the tip of the iceberg in our lean journey, but we're excited to be in it together and hopefully you find some value in this video and maybe it'll help you kickstart your journey into lean.